Thanks for clicking on to the Tuesday edition of Open's European Outlook. What a difference uh, a morning can make. Yesterday morning, I was driving down the A9 through the Highlands and the temperature at 6.30 or 6.29 to be precise uh, yesterday morning was down to 3 Celsius mist patches. And, um, you know, it wasn't the coldest uh, temperature. In fact, uh, there was a, a one and a half degrees recorded in a couple of spots, including um, Tullock Bridge or Fursit and out Nahara yesterday morning, but this was uh, down around the, the Car Bridge area. This morning, however, the temperature as uh, only a half an hour difference, uh, you know, was 21 Celsius. So I turned the key in Wakefield this morning, parked up after delivering last night, and uh, wow, it was, a, it was a warm morning, uh, that's for sure, but a very different morning. So instead of having clear, crisp skies, it was rainy and quite miserable, but very, very muggy indeed. Um, so a big, big difference in the uh, difference between yesterday morning at um, you know six thirty and this morning at half past six, uh, and two very different parts of the country, of course. Um, I'm actually back up in in Muir of Ord, which is uh, just to the west of Dingwall. Start off this morning uh, in Wakefield. And um, I'm back up the road once again, so I'm actually home again tonight. So I'm, I'm getting spoiled. Uh, two nights in the truck this week um, is pretty good going, actually. Um, it's been an interesting week, actually, because the, the typically the first day, the first job of the week, for me, I, I work Saturday to Wednesday. The first job of the week is quite often test goes up at Wick. So you drive the, the R in 50 minutes up do the delivery and then back and you're usually down towards Livingston or somewhere within the, the central belt uh, for your Saturday night. But they uh, actually ended up going over to the Kyle Lock Alch, which is right beside the Sky Bridge um, on Saturday afternoon after delivering to Wick. Uh, overnight, then I loaded up with uh, a lobster and drove from the Kyle Lock Alch down to DFDS at the uh, Lark Hall, just below Glasgow. Then done a few jobs around about and then actually headed back up towards the yard. So I was home on Sunday night. Then I was back out again for a three o'clock start, uh, straight down to Wakefield to deliver. Then I reloaded out of Keithley in Yorkshire this morning, straight up to Muir of Ord, which is, uh, like I say, just to the kind of west, northwest of Inverness home tonight and then I've got a delivery first thing tomorrow morning for Thursday. So yeah, you've actually got a breakdown of my week and uh, tomorrow is the last day of the week. So yippee. <laughs> but anyway, um, just a wee, um, a wee kind of side note, just to make it a little bit more interesting, trying to make it a little bit more interesting in terms of not talking just about the same weather charts and, and whatnot. Uh, you know, gives you a, a bit of an idea as to what I get up to um, behind this, the, the weather chart, so to speak. But, uh, yeah, very mild air in place at the moment. We've got an area of low pressure kind of stretched out, um, you know, well to the west of Ireland and the British Isles. That stretches all the way towards uh, Shetland, as you can see here. Within this section, we've got some very mild air indeed. And um, that is going to be um, allowing the temperatures to jack up. You know, it's warm at the moment here. What am I showing you here? That isn't 850 temperatures back into the 20s, is it? We'll get to that in a second here. Yeah, 14th of August. Anyway. So temperatures this morning, not too bad at all. 11 Celsius northwest, uh, 18, 19 Celsius in the southeast. I was down around this area here with the temperature when I turned the key at 3 o'clock this morning. was sitting on 21 Celsius. Big difference compared to yesterday morning. So we had the uh, 11 this morning at Alt Nahara. Yesterday morning, I think it was only 1.5 Celsius. So we um, allowed the temperature to come up a good uh, nearly 10 degrees, or at least, uh, yeah, 10 degrees basically between yesterday morning and this morning. These are the afternoon temperatures as of recording. And you can see here that we've got temperatures uh, warmest in the east and the south. We've got uh, a 28 celsius possibly a 29 somewhere down there somewhere and uh, you can see here yep so we've got plenty of 27s 28s 
I don't see a 29 on the chart here, but I'm sure there will be at some some somewhere anyway. But um, let's have a look at the 850 temperatures here, because it's quite important here. So yeah, milder at 850, so we've got temperatures in excess of 10 Celsius all the way up to the northeast corner of uh, Aberdeenshire, as you can see here. Got temperatures probably 12, 13 Celsius down across the south and the Midlands. So that's allowing the temperatures at the surface to to rise into the upper 20s. Now, what we are going to see here is as we start to see that frontal, basically that really almost represents the cold front, this demarcation zone between warm and cool. And you notice here that as that uh, line, that frontal system can edge is ever so slightly to the south, we're actually tapping some of this heat from Spain and France and it's drawn, getting drawn northwards here um, as we go through the course of, uh, of later today and into tomorrow morning. So we're going to see those 850 temperatures, that 15 Celsius isotherm clip into um, parts of uh, East Sussex, Kent, Suffolk, for example. And with sunshine tomorrow, we're going to see the temperature rise to 30 possibly 31 celsius so we're back in the 30s once again but you notice here it's a short-lived event because as we see that warmth getting pulled up from the southwest we're seeing the cool air coming in from the northwest and we change the wind direction and we start to see the temperatures coming down to average if not slightly below average across the northern half of the british isles and then we're going to see the temperatures coming down even across the southeast corner but even on wednesday here you notice that we're still seeing that uh, edge of heat core skirting the southeast corner of england here so therefore the temperature once again may hit 30 on wednesday afternoon all the while we're seeing the temperatures coming down uh, across the midlands north of england up into scotland the republic of ireland northern ireland all in the cool air here all the while we're boiling uh, across parts of France, for example, Paris, 37, 38 Celsius is possible in the greater Paris area with this heat surge here. So very torrid conditions across Spain, Portugal. It's been the case now, you know, for some time, widespread 30s, some low 40s in the typical hotspots across southern and central portions of Spain. And then all the while, as that area of low pressure edges towards uh, Scandinavia, we're opening the door to much fresher conditions coming in from the northwest, as you can see here. The heat uh, continues to boil the near continent, uh, but eventually we are going to start to see that frontal system moving into the north of France, uh, across Belgium, Netherlands, northern portions of Germany here. So we're starting to see the heat getting pushed down into the mediterranean basin still warm across siberia in fact as that frontal system comes down from the north we could actually see the the column warming up enhancing the heat across spain and portugal we could be talking about temperatures on friday afternoon uh reaching 30 43 44 celsius here so we are actually going to see as the temperatures come down across the north we're seeing them rise across the south with the dynamics in place. Then as we push towards the weekend, we see um, that area of high pressure can then start to become uh, more entrained, more draped across the British Isles. So it should start to settle things down, so to speak, here. And then as we go into next week, things become rather interesting here. So have a let's have a look again at the overview chart here and see what's going on. So, of course, we've got um, that area of low pressure passes uh, to the north of the British Isles, turns the winds in from the northwest. We start to see the heat getting pushed back into the near continent. Still hot, Spain, Portugal, France, as you can see here. Area of high pressure then starts to age and approach Ireland. The contrast between the high uh, to the west of Ireland here, the area of low pressure up towards Scandinavia, we've got those northwesterly winds. So it basically restricts the level of warmth that we can get at the surface here. So instead of having upper 20s to low 30s across the southeast, we get pegged back to the mid 20s, I think. Uh, possibly the low 20s. And then it's uh, all eyes as we press through the upcoming weekend. 
that area of high pressure kind of topples its way in. We've got possibly systems right in the, the, the northern uh, periphery of the high, so across the Outer Hebrides and across the north of Scotland, we may see increased uh, breeze, cloud cover, outbreaks of rain, so to speak, as well. Then it's as we press towards the early portion of next week, what takes place is we'll see the area of high pressure moving towards the uh, towards Denmark, so it's east of the UK. Then we've got an area of low pressure up towards the northwest, towards Iceland here, and it's all eyes on where that heat from the continent goes, because as we press uh, through the period here, it looks as if we're going to see uh, some of that warmth getting um, getting drafted northwards here. Areas of low pressure continue in the skirt, the northern half of the, the UK, as you can see here. But this very latest run of the GFS is indicating that we could start to tap some of that heat from the north once again, uh, or from the south, should I say, as we go through the uh, through next week here. So things are, are going to start to get interesting. So see here, 850 temperatures uh, through the middle portion of next week. We've got an frontal system trying to come down from the north, but it's all eyes on that heat out of Spain, out of Portugal, France, as that high shifts to the east of the UK, watch this space, we could be starting to see some of that very warm conditions lifting up towards England, Wales, possibly even southern Scotland. How warm could we be talking? Upper 30s? That is possible, given what I'm seeing. But we will watch this space. We will continue to monitor the pattern as we go forward here. Why are we seeing the potential for another uh, surge of very hot conditions? At this moment in time, the Man Julian Oscillation is actually supporting uh, upward motion across Scotland and across the Norwegian Sea. And of course, we're seeing the reflection down in the low levels with low pressure and disturbed weather. All that's sinking there, as you can see here, is over North America and over the North Atlantic. Now, as we see the large scale area of upward motion across Africa, Indian Ocean, in towards Indonesia. As we start to see that progressing eastwards, you then start to shift the area of sinking air, widespread sinking into the eastern portion of the Atlantic. All of North America, and particularly the focus is over North America, uh, the North Atlantic, as you can see here, but specifically eastern portions of the tropical Atlantic edging up towards the UK, we see those oranges. And this is the same type of Man Julian oscillation position and strength, may I add, that produced the 40 Celsius. Now, I'm not saying that the temperature is going back to 40 Celsius once again, but watch this space. I had alluded to this a good 10 days ago. Watch the period between the 4th, 6th, 8th, 9th of August, there is the potential for the Manjula Oscillation to become in a favourable phase for strength, strengthening high pressure over the western portion of Europe. And therefore, we could see that heat out of Iberia lifting northwards here. And that looks, folks, like a real possibility for the period towards, what would that be? It would probably be the 13th, 14th of August here. So we do need to monitor this pattern um, over the next couple of weeks, that's for sure. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. If you appreciate it, please drop a comment. And uh, if you haven't already done so, subscribe to the channel. And let's watch this possible impending heat surge coming up next week. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.